So let's say I wanted to organize all of these images. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to decrease them in size a little bit so we can play with them a bit more. I'm going to go into free transform and you'll notice that if I have multiple layers selected, it actually allows me to decrease the size or change, you know, all sorts of layers at once. We're not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it like this for now. I'm going to press enter. We'll do fancy things like that later. Uh, now, if I were to try and just select one of these, I'm not able to because all of them are selected. That's pretty easy to solve. I'm just going to click outside of it. Notice the layers panel when I do this. And now I selected the sand dune. And now when I click back on this, only this one is selected. So let's, uh, let's organize them so they're in a bit of a grid. Here we go. Looking uh, a lot more grid-like right there. Uh, I'll actually want to get nine of them. So in order to duplicate this, I'm going to drag this down here and duplicate it right there. But I want this to be a perfect grid. It's not really working. So I want to select, uh, first thing I want to do is let's turn off these bottom six. So I'm going to turn these off. Oops, did that wrong. I'm going to turn this one off, 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 and there we go. So now we only have three. Let's drag this down here, this down here, and this down here. In order to line them up, I would select all of them. Now I could try doing that by holding control and selecting all of them in the layers palette. But that's not all that intuitive. I like looking at the layers palette as little as possible. The other way to select these three layers is by clicking on one, holding down shift, and then clicking on the next one, keeping shift held down, and then clicking on the next one still. And you'll notice that when I click on them, they get selected in the layers palette. So again, all I did was I clicked it, I hit shift, I hit shift, not I hit shift, I held down shift and I clicked and I clicked, and now all three layers are selected. Up here in the options bar, and this is if you're on the move tool, which you are, uh, there's a lot of options for keeping things organized. Uh, this one, for instance, makes it so the top part of them, the top edge, is all along the same lines. This one would make it so the center is on the same lines. This one would make it so they're all on the left side, which isn't what we want. This one right here distributes it evenly. So this just makes it so there's an even spacing between all three. I'm going to drag these up right here, and I'm going to turn on all of the layers in order to get them organized. So let's click this, and let's click this, and let's actually nudge this up a little bit just by using the arrow, and I'm going to nudge this up a little bit as well, and move it like this. And let's actually move this one here. I'm going to click this, hold down shift, click this, and shift this, and make sure that all of them are aligned on the left edge. So I'll click this, and they're all aligned on the left edge. And then in order to distribute them evenly, I'm going to click this, and that distributes them evenly horizontally. So let's do the same for these as well. So I'm going to grab this, I'm going to grab this, I'm going to hold down shift, click this and this, and make sure that all of their bottom edges are organized. Great. I'm going to press this, and then I'm going to shift select this, make sure that their right edge is organized. Wonderful. I'm going to click this, hold down shift, click this and this, distribute them evenly. Oops, that's not what I wanted at all. So I'm going to undo that, and clearly I had a problem. So I'm going to deselect, hold down this, this, and this, and let's try that one more time. And that worked right there. It looked like what I pressed was some button that I didn't want to press. I don't know what I did wrong, and quite frankly, I'm not going to worry about it. All I did was I undid uh, what I had done wrong, and then I just did it a way that I understood. If you're ever running into a case where you don't understand why this happened, how it did, just press undo, click outside, and then start over. It's easier than trying to prob problem solve what just happened right there. So I'm just going to hit this, this, and this. Distribute this evenly. It's still not quite there, so I'm going to hold this, this, and this. And now these are all distributed evenly. This looks pretty good, although I do have to say I want to move this in a little bit. Uh, excuse me, that's a little bit too much. So if I press undo, for some reason, I'm not able to undo it. I'm hitting undo right now, and nothing is happening. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can do multiple undos, how you can step back multiple times using the history panel.